oh hey girls so in typical madison fashion i'm back six months later how is everybody doing is everybody okay is everybody all right feeling good okay great no but really um in typical madison fashion i'm back um i have just been i mean basically moping around the house since you last saw me <laughs> not much has gone on but it is december now and it's vlogmas so as usual nothing changes about me um i spent the first week of vlogmas like should i do vlogmas should i not do vlogmas should i do vlogmas should i not do vlogmas so um i'm going to do vlogmas like i did last year i'm pretty sure i did vlogmas last year i don't know if it was on this channel but i did vlogmas I did like a weekly video so that was easier for me um I just felt like that was easier and like people would maybe watch it more if it was like a week of compiled vlogs so I think that's what I'm gonna do now we're already a weekend so I've missed a week it's December 7th Monday right now but I think I'm just gonna start with week two and just go with the flow from here so um i do not know what the hell i'm gonna be vlogging like i don't know what kind of content i'm gonna be serving you but i'm here yeah this year overall i mean obviously we all know this is just like a very off very different year but my routine you know pandemic or no pandemic was going to be different this year because i am not a student anymore i'm finally finished with school so i feel like all the vlogs i've done i've been a student in them so it's been really hard for me to like do i feel like have like a good vlogmas and record a good vlogmas because i was just so busy especially during this time it's like the busiest time of the year like i had so many events so many finals so many papers that's just always how it was and i didn't really have like a really nice amount of time to do vlogmas and it was just it was all just very stressful so this year is very different i have been home a whole ton of a lot this year and um yeah like i said i was not kidding when i said like i've literally been moving around the house since last time you saw me because sis like i'm not traveling i know people are but personally i'm not traveling um so i haven't been traveling i haven't been doing anything like i've been home i go i'll go out to eat like every now and then but like um things have been boring 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 but i just felt like i don't know i'm just i just felt like i should record again and oh my hair i also wanted to talk about my hair so like a week ago no more than a week ago maybe like two weeks ago i got my hair done and i cut my hair like i i didn't cut it i trimmed it i had it trimmed but i also had layers i, I told her i wanted layers i was like i want like layers like a lot of layers and i wanted like a deep layer and then she told me like your hair is too thin so like if i do a deep layer it can look thinner when it's straighter so i was like oh like clearly i don't want my hair to look thinner so she just did like long layers and i guess because my hair is black i'm like i cannot even like tell like i feel like i look like i have no layers but on camera i like now i could see them maybe it's because of the way i'm wearing my hair because i typically wear my hair in, like a middle part but i don't know but now i could see that it's like slightly layered i can see it now but i wish i had more layers and i wish she, i feel like she could have cut a little bit more because like i had some really really dead ends girl like really dead ends and i feel like my hair is still like long but i don't know maybe i'll maybe i'll in a couple weeks like trim it again hi guys i'm back don't judge me i literally just woke up like literally just woke up and i I look terrible and i feel terrible i always feel terrible every time i wake up i just feel horrible like my neck is hurting i just feel horrible like all the time does anybody wake up like that because i do anyway i'm gonna make tea i'm about to put the tea on like right now um because i'm tired and like, i need to wake up because again like i said like i'm super like groggy in the morning like i it's just hard for me to get out of bed so i make my tea and this is water that's why i always have this because i'm like always drinking water this is water in here and um i might take a shower because it's the morning and i like to take a shower in the morning well 
it really doesn't matter i'll take it like whenever but i like i do like to take a shower in the morning so i might do that oh my god my neck is killing me it was crazy last night sorry i made barking he's so loud he's got like a really loud bark and i have the few major also that um clearly i like wound up doing nothing yesterday i just like was chilling and then i went to sleep i actually went to sleep really early i think i also felt like nine o'clock or something like that so yeah that was nice i woke up at like 1 30 though because i literally I legit fell asleep in like all my clothes all my makeup so i had to get up i just woke up at like 1 30 and i changed i got into my pajamas i took my makeup off and then i went back to bed so um i'm up now what time is it? it's like it's actually kind of late it's nine o'clock i usually do not like wake up this late because major gets me up very early does anybody else have a dog that gets them up very early he never used to do that but now he does that so oh here he is can you oh yeah you can see him Major, you okay what's the matter what's the matter boys? major say hi to my camera major major say hi my water say hi he's so big he's so big and he's heavy yes he's got I don't heavy know, i don't know how much he weighs i think like um i'm guessing like 20 pounds i'm guessing up last time we went to the doctor he was 12 but that was a long time ago that was like five months ago or something so he's definitely grown since then like for sure i think he's like 20 pounds but not totally sure they like never tell us how much he weighs when he goes to the vet like ever because we can't go in the vet because of the whole you know pandemic so we can't go inside they just come to the car and they take him and they like never tell us anything they're like all right he's fine bye and like that's it like so we hardly get to like ask questions or anything but anyways yeah i'm gonna feed the dog and have my tea and we'll be back later bye Hey guys, so okay, first of all, this beep is so annoying. I just want to tell you that I'm at um, my mom's physical therapy appointment. I'm waiting outside, obviously. COVID, hello. But she freaking has a key with her, so this thing is gonna keep on beeping. And I wanted to vlog in here and just chat it up, and now I can't do that because of the freaking beep that's going on in here. So, um, nothing I can do about that. What would you like me to do about that? <laughs> So, I guess I can't vlog in here, but I got my Major Bear with me. Say hi, Major Bear. Major. <laughs> hi. Hi. You're so brown. Is there anything you want to say to vlog, Vlogmas? Huh? No? No, Mom. You don't want to say anything? Okay. <laughs> you don't want to say anything? Come on. Give us a bark. Something. No barks? No bark? Okay, well, no bark. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to bark. I know. Okay. Alright, guys. I guess I will maybe chat it up on the way home. I don't even know. I'm just sitting here. And this beep is too much. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't judge me, I'm in bed. But I'm so tired right now. Like, it's, I swear to God, it's not even 10 o'clock, but I'm so tired. Um, so, yeah, so I had a little dilemma because I was looking for the piece that goes into my computer so I could connect the computer to my hard drive because I got to empty my computer out in order to upload this Vlogmas. And, of course, I cannot find that freaking piece. So, I have to find that piece tomorrow. I, like, tore up my room looking for it. Tomorrow, I'm going to get up in the morning, and I'm going to, like, go through everything and organize everything and throw out everything and try to find it. And if I can't find it, then I have to go to, um, I don't know. 
have to go to the store and try to buy another one. I I don't know. I'm thinking like, ugh, will Target have it? I don't even know. I feel like we don't have anything nowadays. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go get another one. I'm gonna have to go to like, I'm gonna end up having to go to like Best Buy or something because all the stuff I need would be like at Best Buy. But yeah, um, I'm so tired. I'm like falling asleep. So, tomorrow when I wake up, I will record that and I will film that. And in the meantime, guys, I'll be sleeping. Look at my eyes. They're like this. Cause this, this is like bringing so much light in my face. But, um, yeah, guys. In the morning when I wake up, I will vlog. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hi, guys. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Um, what were we saying before? Oh yeah, that I did a horrible vlog yesterday. I'm sorry, but yesterday was very uneventful. I warned you. But today I'm here. I literally just woke up. Like I just woke up. Um, I walk the dog. That's like literally the first thing I do after I open my eyes. Actually, I hardly open my eyes. My eyes are hardly open. I put shoes on. I run out the door in my pajamas and I walk the dog because he needs to go out immediately. So I do that. And I just came back in and I'm making my tea. I like to have tea in the morning and water because it like just helps my stomach. I have a really sensitive stomach. Um, so I just like to do that. Even though tea is bad for you, I know tea is bad for you. One of my followers, followers told me that. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. They said that um, too much tea could be cancerous because of the bags and heating up the bag and stuff. So I didn't even know that. But um yeah so that's what i'm doing right now my grandma needs to get her nails done so i'm gonna take her and i'll do my nails too because you know i'm gonna be there already so might as well and my nails also broken too i'm gonna just cut them really short because they broke really short so i'm just gonna cut them like really short i don't even care because my nails grow really fast i get powder now and they grow so fast with i don't know if it's the powder or if i'm just like realizing how fast my nails grow when it has powder or something but yeah so that is what i'm doing today then i might go to the store i will vlog i promise um i'll try to vlog my nails if i could fit the camera on their table because i have a really little table come here Maggie. come say hi Maggie. say hi to my dog Maggie, say hi to the camera look Maggie. <laughs> i love him he's hungry i think that's why he's like being annoying Wait, are you hungry? You wanna eat food? You wanna eat food? You hungry? Okay. Tea. I'm gonna pour my tea first. So that way, it can cool off a little bit. Then after this, I'll probably take a shower like I usually do. Anyway, um, this is getting so long, I'm gonna go take my shower and get ready so I can bring my grandmother to the nail salon and we can get our nails done. So, I'll be back later. Okay, hey guys, so I'm in the car and I am at the nail salon. So basically, I'm just gonna get out and <laughs> go to the nail salon and get my nails done. My nails are so fried. I gotta, I'm gonna do powder. I already told you guys that I always do powder now, it's so good. So I'm gonna do the powder and maybe I'll like do a little like snippet of me, of them doing my nails in there. Um, but yeah, I'm here and I'm going in to fix these horrible nails. Okay guys, so I'm back from the nail salon. I'm back in the car at least. Look at my nails, they look nice. My hands are freezing, oh my god. It's, by the way, it's snowing out. I didn't even know it was gonna snow today. Like, I did not think that snow was on the forecast because if I did, I would have not straightened my hair. Anyways, it's like snowing out, like snowing hard actually. But my nails are finished, they look nice, I like them. I cut them really short because honestly, I'd rather have them short because they last longer so i just had her cut them really short um but yeah i was um i asked my stepdad my brother's dad to take my dog because they were going out and i don't want the dog to be alone and i'm like walking around and i see this little fluffy brown dog and i'm like oh this major so i saw my major and i was very happy he's so cute he was like hanging out the window i don't know 
y'all had why i was hanging out the window because it's snowing but he seemed to be enjoying it so <laughs> Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna run to Sephora really quick because my grandma's still in the nail salon She's doing everything. She's doing her hair. She's doing her feet. I'm like, all right, girl I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you mama girl because I got stuff to do So I'm gonna run to Sephora. I'm gonna try to get myself foundation really quick and then I'm coming back to pick her up. So Yeah, let's go so i'm back from what was the last clip i think the last clip i did was i was in sephora so um first of all sephora was empty like there was nobody in there and i haven't seen sephora empty in a long time because i feel like every time i go it's like super like there's always people in there but the weather today was great and you know pandemic hello so maybe that's why but like i said in the last clip i was looking for foundation um and i couldn't like touch any of the testers i couldn't touch the testers so i had to ask them to like grab everything for me which is like kind of stupid because if they're putting their hands on everything it's like hello anyway it was really stupid and it was really annoying because i didn't want to keep annoying the girl and have her there for 30 minutes like oh i want to watch this i want to watch this oh and this one and these two and these three like i wasn't gonna drive her crazy so i just got an ours foundation even though i like wanted to get something different i didn't really want to get this and mama girl i got this color um stromboli but this looks way too light mom girl this looks way too light and i couldn't like i couldn't put it on the back of my hand so i couldn't see if it was like anywhere near or close like i just couldn't because i wasn't allowed to so i just like got this and this looks way too light so i'm gonna have to like maybe i'll like um mix it with another foundation but i'm most likely gonna have to return this and i don't even know like i don't even know what color to get i feel like i was wearing valencia last winter but i feel like that i looked at it in the store and it looked really dark in the store and i was like mm, i don't know and then i was getting myself confused i'm like was i wearing that in the summer or was i wearing that in the winter so i wasn't really sure so i got this one because i was like uh, i don't know this kind of looks like a color but now that i put it on the back of my hand mama girl this is this looks way too light i don't know what i was i don't know who i thought i was when i was buying this i don't know who i thought i was but i don't know and of course i got a lip gloss <laughs> which i absolutely don't need i actually needed a concealer but i didn't buy a concealer sephora is so expensive i got these two products and i spent like 80 dollars these two well almost 80 dollars it was um i think it was like really 74 but anyways um what color is this i got a fussy gloss bomb and i got this one sweet mouth i never had this one before i had fussy um and the original of course but i liked fussy more but i feel like i'm gonna like this one better because you guys know clearly i like a very light lipstick but this one is so pretty i'm gonna put it on now and i like that it has some sparkle in it also does anybody oh my god my lips are mad dry i don't know why i put this on i thought anyways does anybody remember um lip smackers because guys this smells exactly like the lip smackers buy this and then buy a lip smacker they smell exactly the same like it brought back so many memories and i posted that one time i was like this smells like lip smackers like it reminds me of lip smackers and i had some people reply on instagram and they were like oh my god i thought the same thing and i was like see i knew i wasn't crazy hey girl hey so it's the next day it is thursday what's today's date it is thursday the 10th so right now i'm gonna go like i've been saying i wanted to go i want to go to target so i could try to find like that car mount i don't know if they're gonna have that there but we're gonna try because like i said i know they do have electronics and i feel like they would have tripods and such things such as that so we're gonna try and we're gonna go over there and see so let's go we out to target oh you want to see my christmas tree it's my tree it doesn't look very dazzling right now because it's like daytime we also had to put a gate here 
you like can't really see it but you kind of can see it we had to put a gate because the dog kept freaking taking down our ornaments so that didn't last too long anyways all right so we out to target let's go so we are in target now my mask is dirty i don't know why i got like makeup on it anyways um i'm in the obviously cosmetic section I don't even know what I'm looking for. Like, I'm just, like, browsing. But I came to get the tripod. I hope, let's cross our fingers, that they have the tripod for me because I want that. Um, hmm, what else? I want to get a concealer, like, another CoverGirl concealer. But I don't know. First of all, these are too light for me. They look too light. Um, second of all, I want to try something different. So that's another thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking, just looking right now. <laughs> Guys, I'm dead. I thought I was recording. I wasn't even recording. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so what I was saying was, was bad news because we never found the car mount, right? Correct. So, I will be holding the camera like this in the car until further notice. The only thing that I got in freaking Target was stuff for my dog like that's literally all i got was like toys for my dog so that was fun they had nice doggy toys nice. i also got him a toothbrush and um toothpaste so best believe when i go home he's brushing his teeth um but yeah <laughs> um really sad very sad day we didn't get a car mount which really sucks but we're gonna we're gonna stay hopeful we're gonna stay hopeful and we're gonna get a car mount we're gonna stay hopeful there's always next week there's always next week there's always more stores there's always more hope so we're just gonna keep on with this journey anyways we are gonna go home now we're actually skipping starbucks today we always get starbucks but we're yeah, skipping starbucks guilty about that. um but yeah we're gonna go home and then hopefully i'll find some lunch to eat now we're gonna get some lunch like a little roach <laughs> i can't with her okay all right bye <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. Um, it's like hours later. Um, it's 6.31. We kind of just got home. I We took my mom to her physical therapy point, appointment again today. But I freaking forgot my camera at home. I was so mad. I was like, damn, I forgot my camera. So, couldn't like vlog that. Um, I just took off my mask because like we just got home. I think I said that. But look, I feel like all my makeup down here is like gone. Like it just looks so like bleh and dull. I hate that. I hate the whole mask. Like obviously like I don't mind wearing a mask because like we need to wear a mask. But um like I hate that it like wipes off my makeup. I'm like, oh my god, stop doing that. It's so annoying. So um yeah, I'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the night. If I didn't have this damn freaking dog always following me everywhere around this damn house i'll probably go to sleep right now because i'm like literally so tired i swear to god by this time by like 6 30 i'm like all right when is 10 o'clock coming because i'm tired like i'm done and i think it's because i get up so freaking early now because of the damn dog he does not let me sleep like does anybody else's dog do not let them sleep because my dog does not let me let me sleep like he just freaking jumps on top of me he barks in my face like it's so annoying it's honestly so annoying anyway i'm obsessed with my lip gloss the one that i bought hi guys i'm back so now we are on our way to infrared right that's what it's called mom yes you're correct so that's what we're going to do we're on our way now um, how long did you say the session? 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes. It's called Reset and it's online. So that's the one we're gonna go to. And yeah, I never been to uh, infrared sauna, so get ready. Seems fun. Um, I mean, I really do like the heat. I don't know if that's like, I don't know, but I really like the heat. So I feel like I'm really gonna like it because I like the heat. I know people, some people hate heat, but I love it. 
Like I hate, I even hate air conditioner in the summer. I literally hate air conditioner. And everybody's like, what is wrong with you? Like, why do you hate AC? And I'm like, I don't know, I just really don't like it. Like I would never turn it on, but you know. There's other people in my house, so we have to turn on the AC because they like the AC. But I don't like AC. So, anyways, so yeah, we're on our way. We are on our way, and we'll be there very soon. So my infrared, uh, it could be one in time room. Uh, so this is our infrared sauna. You could actually fit two people, like I said, uh, okay. comfortably. Okay. But of course, uh, one person is going to be much more comfortable because you have to put your um, foot, uh, your leg on yeah. the bench. And you can watch your own show. Just, okay. you know, like, oh, I don't want to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to listen to that music and stuff. But the heat, it just gets to 100 and, mm, 145. Okay. It just gets a little bit more, just depending on your body temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ever had done infrared, yes. um, there's different infrared system. They are not uh, equal because uh, the infrared that we have is going to be three different wavelengths. It penetrates you differently and also it heats up your body core. Of course, it's not always about the heat or how hot it gets. It's really about what the benefit that you try to get from it. Mm -hmm. So when you're in here, uh, like I said, we do give you Netflix. It sounds like a move theater in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can always pick that phone too. Uh, the only thing we don't, we don't have is pretty much the color lightning. Right. Uh, but mm -hmm. you can always control the lightning. You can have it all on, bright, and uh, okay. it's up to you. But of course, a lot of people just enjoy the Netflix anyways. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she wants okay. to go first. Okay, so um, since you want to go first, uh, there's going to be a rope. So, uh, okay. There's a hooks in the back. If you want to uh, have a seat to change your shoes, you can. Uh, right here is going to be our wet towel. Okay. It is cold. Okay, it is cold. Once you open it, you start wiping all the sweat, it's yeah. going to be cold. <laughs> uh, and also, we have a dry towel for you just in case you need it. And also, there's a face towel. Uh, but once you get dressed and have the rope on, just open the door for me. So this way I can actually uh, guide you in here to help let you know how to use the Netflix and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And you can actually control your own thermostat. Okay. I know a lot of places don't let you control the heat. Oh, okay. So yeah. if it's, oh, good. Correct. I like that. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So if you want it a little hotter Correct. or a little less right. hot, you yes. can. Okay. Uh, most of the time, we put the sauna to really hot first. Yes. Uh, so mm. that's, that's what where, you want. yeah, so it's going to be really hot first. And then at the end, if you don't feel that, uh, if you feel that it's too happy, you can always just touch you what yeah. you want. But of course, once you open the door, that's when the pressure comes in, and it's, it's just we really just touch it. Recalibrate it. Correct. Yeah. So uh, just once you have it on, come uh, come over the door. I know that you're ready for me, and I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, if you want to wait, um, yeah. You can wait in this little recline um, chair. Okay. 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 I'll be back. Okay. Okay. okay, guys. So this is our little recline chair. Okay. Okay. It was so good. Like, I feel so good. Um, I felt like in in this place you could adjust the temperature and other places you can't. But I feel like it could have been, like, I could have done a little bit hotter. Because, like I said, I really love the heat. So, like, I was, like, totally fine. Like, I was chilling. But that was amazing. And I'll definitely be doing it more. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I did my first session. And, yeah, I just got out. So, I'm going to get dressed now. And then after I get dressed, then I don't know. But yeah, that was amazing. And I would highly recommend if you never did the infrared sauna yet. So, yeah. Well, maybe you're overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, the physical gain is helping for like uh, aching, pain, soreness, inflammation, or brightness. Or just don't want to escape the world. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much when you're in here, you're able to have isolation where you can control music, you control life. Or if you just want to be silent or total darkness, that's great. Uh, a lot of people would tend to be able to wait for it. Almost other, some of the clients will be able to fall asleep. Uh, a lot of time when you fall asleep, it almost feels like a two-minute session. Wow. So from there, it helps with like uh, emptiness, uh, help with creativity, energy level, and also uh, help you with motivation. Sometimes when we over stress, we don't have that clarity or that mindset of pretty much absorbing or collectively help yourself to absorb different uh, information or maybe help you to really go on your days. So a lot of times when you're in here, the lid do close up, so this way you can have the water and the air at the same temperature. Oh, okay, so when you're in it, it does close. Yes, Okay. yes. So after a while, when you're floating, what will happen is that the water and the air would be the same temperature as 93.5 degrees. So mm. after a while, when you're floating, you tend to lose track of your body. 
So this way you could actually let your feeling of touch as a distraction go. So when you're in here, you are actually away from your five senses like touch, mm -hmm. taste, see, sight, and hear. And all those could also adjustable too, just in case you need any simulation around you just because you need that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of times you pretty much float on your own and pretty, and pretty much you float the way you want to float. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So how long is the session? Uh, the hours, is, the session could be an hour long. Uh, oh, okay, times. an hour. Uh, that's a recommendation mm -hmm. to start off. But of course, we do have a 90 minute session. Uh, it does seem a little long, but of course, when you're actually doing and being in session, you won't feel as long as you think it is. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank Next you. time, I want to do this. That's so fun. Right. Right. <laughs> your mom said it, she's going to come back and do it with you. Yeah, yeah. This looks so <laughs> awesome. I've never, I've seen it like online, oh, but right, I've never seen it yes, in person. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, uh, the whole resemble of the pot is uh, being in back of the mother's womb. Mm -hmm. it's so, real, yeah, it's, it's like a really cool yeah, shape. I love it. Yeah. Uh, let's go, let's go mm -hmm. uh, So the effect of it is really psychological, emotional, and it is very protected. Uh, but of course, when you're in here, you do get emotional because sometimes we always think and stress of the bad things. And we never stress of the good things because there's really nothing to stress about for the good mm -hmm. things. But it's really time to appreciate the good things. Yeah. Because a lot of times we don't appreciate it because we overstress ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we don't see the good things in our life. Yeah. And that's why it doesn't even matter. Yes. If you lose it, that's mm -hmm. when you start stressing the good things. Yes. And you don't have that anymore. True, so very true. When you're in here, it teaches you a lesson about yourself. Mm -hmm. Knowing yourself. Yes. Uh, I don't know have you ever ever heard of the Joe Rogan. Uh, he's the UFC, uh, the main guy. <laughs> that, you know, he's always on, on the microphone. Yeah. Uh, he talks about uh, knowing yourself. Like you always an on, we're, we're like an onion. Mm -hmm. We have layers. Oh, I've heard that before. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have layers, and the layer represents stress. You try to know yourself. You try. To get deep into the core and find yourself. Mm -hmm. So pretty much when you're floating, you're trying to learn by yourself. Yes. Know how to turn off the stress, know how to let things go and process and absorb. So when you do know this easier and for yourself to really be peaceful in life, knowing that, okay, the stress, why is stress about it when you know it's not important? Yeah. But we're always stressed about the little things. Mm -hmm. And then we just tend to let, we tend to brush it down to the, to the, the, the under the bed, mm -hmm. and then they say no, it piles up. Yeah, but you just keep it, it and yeah, carry keep it. Yeah, carry, keep carrying, carry, carry it. and they say no, you just, you just overstretch yourself mm -hmm. for the for, for the reason for you know, nothing actually, yep. right? So pretty much when you're in here, it teaches you how to let things go, and also come to a full emptiness of that, awesome. and that helps you to really collectively help yourself, knowing awesome. what could you really capable of. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So when the session is over, does it just automatically awesome? Uh, Open? When the session is over, uh, what happens is that it will let you know and then it doesn't automatically open. You will actually push the handle and it automatically open itself. Hmm. Uh, so you have full control of your flow. The lid, the clothes open, uh, the music or the lights. But a lot of times, floating recommendation is very really total darkness. You might not even see a speck of light. But of course, people will hallucinate. Uh, yeah. Hallucination is also relaxation. Mm -hmm. It helps you to really distract yourself mm -hmm. from the reality. Yes. So all of a sudden you might see colors flying around, or you might even see uh, there's a light, a certain light on a certain distance because mm -hmm. you're so used to seeing the lights. Yeah, everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. When you go to sleep, you know what's it like gonna be at right from the from the from the outside street light. It beams into your room, mm -hmm. and you already know that. Yeah. And of course, when you come in here, and you have total darkness. You probably be thinking that too, and you probably be seeing that. Yeah. Because you're so used to it. That's awesome. All right, thank you. Well, this course. is so cool. Of course, thank you. Next time, I'm definitely doing this. Hi guys, so I'm back. So now we are on our way to um, drop Meiji off for his haircut. Meiji, say hi. There he is. <laughs> He's just like sitting there in his seat. He's so funny. He just needs a seatbelt, like a real human seatbelt. But anyways, yeah. So we're on our way there because he needs a haircut. Well, his hair's actually not that bad, like right now. But you know, in a week, he's probably gonna need a haircut. So we're here today, and he's gonna look very, very handsome. I tried to brush him as much as I could, 
before he goes because you know how it is like you gotta brush if you have a curly dog at least i don't know about dogs that don't have like a curly i was gonna say coat but i mean yeah i guess like if they don't have curly hair i don't know if you really need to like brush them that much because they probably don't get like tangled but with him i have to brush him before because um if he's like matted she she has to cut him down so i don't want her to cut him too far down so i gotta brush him so we did that right major he hated it he was like biting me the entire time but what can we do what can we do Meiji? you need a <laughs> he's looking at me you need a haircut and you got curly hair like me trust me i know the struggle i used to hate getting my hair brushed too i used to scream and bite too yeah so i totally yeah. i totally get you mage right Meiji? He's probably gonna be thirsty because he like didn't drink no water. Right, mage? You didn't drink any water and you did not even eat this morning. Fresh. Fresh bubble. Okay, anyways. Alright, so we're here. We're like almost here. We're like two minutes away or something like that. Yeah, we're two minutes away. So I'm gonna bring him up. We can get his haircut. Hmm. I want that on my next Mercedes. Yeah, your car does have it, but your model doesn't have it. Yeah. The locator lighting I have on. Okay, guys. So I just dropped off Meiji. Um, I felt so bad for him. He's like so. He's Meiji's a scaredy cat though. My dog's scared of everything. He's scared of the leaves. So I, um, my groomer, she has a poodle too, but he's a standard poodle. So he's like really big already. And he's not even full size, but he's really big already. He's like literally as tall as me. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. And um, <laughs> he saw Chicago come out, that, that her dog's name is Chicago, and he was so scared. He was like, <laughs> he did not want to go inside. She had to carry him inside. I was like, oh my God, Major. But yeah, um, she's going to cut him like she did last time. So I told her I liked it because it lasted so long. Like he got last time I took it for a haircut, it was like November second or something, and it's just it's December what thirteenth today. So that's a long time. That's like six weeks, which is typically you know when you have a poodle, they say every six weeks. So that's exactly six weeks. Sometimes though, in six weeks he looks crazy. Like he like needs a haircut really bad. But I don't know. Maybe because his hair is getting curlier too. And she, she was saying that about him. She was like, oh my god, Major, look at all these curls you have now. I was like, I know, he's got really curly. Um, I'm using, I'm so excited because I'm using my um, car tripod. So, um, I bought it from Amazon. It was like $21. It's like a suction, so it stays. I wanted one for the dashboard. That's the one I really wanted. But those were like more expensive. So, I just got like the, I just got the window one. So, like suctions to the window. But yeah, um, guys, look at Major, how cute. Major! Major, come here. Major, come. Oh my god, you're so funny and you're so cute. Come. Bob, hi. Hi. Major. Okay, I gotta get up. I'm an old lady. My knees are hurting. <laughs> Major, come this way. Wait, you're tangled. You're tangled. Major. Major, wait, Bubba. Come here. Bubs, come. We're in the car now. Major, say hey to the vlog. Say hey, vlog. <laughs> he's just looking out the window. Now he's a fluffy puppy. He was fluffy before, but now he's very fluffy. <laughs> Yeah, now we're on our way home. The mall was uneventful. We did not really get anything there. And there was like, well, in the store we went to, there was like no sales, nothing. And the lines were crazy. Like, I don't know, the lines were crazy, so. But I really shop online because I saw some stuff online that I really like. So, I'm gonna do my shopping online. And then at least there, when you're online, like you know 
um, what you're gonna get. Like, I feel like you see something online, you're like, oh, I'll get that in the store, and then you don't really know if they have it in the store. <laughs> so that's what I'm we're home um i was just telling my mom it feels like so late it feels like it's like 10 o'clock it's only five o'clock so i'm really tired i need to start editing this vlog because um like i was telling you guys yesterday i did all the computer work like i made sure my computer was updated and everything was cleaned out and i made sure it had room so i could upload this vlog so because of that i haven't been able to like um, edit as I go which is what I typically do I'll edit as I go throughout the week because it makes it so much easier because editing takes a long time especially when I haven't edited in a while and recorded in a while and it's been a very long time for me um, so yeah so I need to sit down and kind of get into this vlog and start editing it um, I will start editing it and then maybe I'll put some like extra clips in here. I don't know. We'll see. But I need to start editing this because it's going to take a while. So I will be back and sit down. Wait, where is my computer even? I don't even know where, I'm, where my computer is. Hi, guys. So, guys, we are ending the vlog here. We are closing the vlog out because this vlog is so long. Like, I just finished editing it now. And it is so long. It's 40 minutes long. Plus, I'm going to add this. So, I hope this even uploads to YouTube because this is so long. I don't even know if you could upload a 40-minute video, but I'm doing it. So, anyway, good night, guys. I love you so much. Um, it is Sunday now. So, the next vlog you're going to see is next Sunday, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Love you very much, and good night.